CNN News 18 originally CNN Ibn is an Indian English language news television channel founded by Rajdeep Sardase located in Noida, Uttar Pradesh. It is currently owned by Network 18. CNN provides international coverage for the channel, while Indian Broadcasting Network concentrates on Indian and local reports. In May 2014, Reliance Industries announced it would be taking over Network 18. The move was touted as the biggest ever deal in the Indian media space. Reliance Industries already had indirect control of the TV18 network by virtue of investments it made in Network 18 starting from January 2012. Topic: History. CNN International only reached urban elites in India. In order to reach the Indian masses Time Warner together with an Indian company, Global Broadcast News currently TV18 Broadcast Limited, launched the channel in India as CNN Ibn on 18 December 2005. The channel was completely run by TV18 Broadcast Limited, which only used the cable news network CNN brand name. Currently, Time Warner's India specific CNN News 18 is watched by more people than its CNN International sister network, although both channels are in English. According to Network 18, since its inception, the channel has been reaching out to an average of 45 million households every day. In 2015, it was announced that a licensing agreement between Turner Broadcasting and Network 18 18 had not been renewed and would expire in January 2016. On the 1st of December 2015, it was announced the brand licensing had been renewed for another term at 7:57 p.m. the 18th of April 2016. CNN Ibn rebranded as CNN News 18. Topic: <laughs> Shows. Topic. Rolling News News 18 Head Start – Developing Stories of the Morning and Newsworthy Events 8 AM Express and the Morning News – Two morning news shows that provides the latest news from around the world aimed at preparing the viewers for the day ahead. Hosted by rotating anchors. News 18 – A general news bulletin with live news updates throughout the day. Afternoon Prime, a news review of the stories that made the headlines since morning and provides an overview of what lies ahead for the remainder of the day. India 360, a 30-minute news bulletin covering national, international, business, sports, crime, and entertainment news in a fast-paced, crisp and concise manner, presented by senior associate editor Aranode Mukherjee. The show replaced News 360 in 24 April 2017. Airing at 8 p.m. until 6 February 2018, when it was moved to 7.30 p.m. <laughs> News roundups and debates Late Night Edition, news bulletin that wraps up the important news of the day, with analyses of their possible impact. News Epicenter and Epicenter Tonight, two late news shows focusing on topics that get lost in the heat and the noise of daily debates, presented by Deputy Political Editor Maria Shaquille and Senior Editor Shreya Dundial respectively starting from 6 February 2018. They originally presented together on the Epicenter at 7 show from 2 May 2017. The Crux, Executive Editor Anuba Bonsal goes beyond the day's headlines. The show replaced the last word in the 24th of April 2017. Face off tonight, Zaka Jacob fronts a face off between newsmakers to take the unnecessary noise out of the facts. The show replaced India at 9 on the 17th of April 2017, airing at 9 p.m. until the 6th of February 2018, when it was moved to 8 p.m. Viewpoint executive editor Bupendra Shobi has the day's top five biggest news. The show replaced Big Five at 10 in the 17th of April 2017, airing at 10 p.m. until the 6th of February 2018, when it was moved to 9 p.m. World View with Suhasini Haidar, hosted by Deputy Foreign Affairs Editor Suhasini Haidar, a weekly analysis of top international stories, with a view on how India is affected by them, with analysis by foreign policy thinkers for debate on topical issues. The show was removed at 13 May 2014, as a result of her leaving. The Week That Wasn't, a 30-minute spoof on the major news events of the week. 
The show looks at the major stories of the week with a satirical tone. The host is Cyrus Brocha. Topic others off center. The show feature unconventional personalities from all walks of life now showing Bollywood news and gossip about Bollywood films. Hosted by entertainment editor Rajiv Masson Overdrive Virtuosity, the Tech and Auto Show, India's first and only show that showcases news, views, reviews, interviews from both the world of technology as well as automobiles. Hosted by Siddhartha Sharma. Topic. Controversies Topic Commonwealth Games contract On 5 August 2011 Controller and Auditor General of India's report on 19th Commonwealth Games was tabled in Parliament of India. In section 14.4.2 of the report, CAG alleged that while awarding contracts worth 3.78 crore rupees for production and broadcasting of commercials for promoting CWG 2010 to CNN IBN and NDTV, the Commonwealth Games Organizing Committee followed an arbitrary approach. Proposals were considered in an ad hoc manner, as and when a proposal was received, no form of competitive tendering was adopted. The CAG further said in its report that, we had no assurance about the competitiveness of the rates quoted by these channels and the need and usefulness of these proposals. From March 2010 to June 2010, the entire pre-games publicity and sponsorship publicity was done only on NDTV and CNN IBN. Fake Twitter comments A controversy about some fake Twitter comments that ran on the screen during a news show raised questions about the reliability of instant feedback from viewers, which was criticized. The officials later apologized saying that the source of viewer comment was wrongly stated as Twitter. <laughs> fake live debate On November 2012, on its prime time show Face the Nation, the channel broadcast a pre-recorded and edited interview of Sri Sri Ravi Shankar as a live television debate. The show was hosted by the deputy editor of the channel, Sagarika Ghose, the wife of the channel's editor, Rajdeep Sardasay. On public outcry, the anchor issued a public apology on Twitter, web and TV. The episode has not been hosted on the show's homepage. Topic. Crew firings In August 2013, TV18 fired nearly 400 people from their various offices including CNN IBN as a part of restructuring. The company declined to further comment on the issue. Topic. See also News18 India Time Warner Turner Broadcasting System <laughs>